Hey, what is up YouTube? Lando Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways to download apps on your Google TV. But before I show you how to do that, all I ask in return is for you to like this video and subscribe so you can see more content like this. Method one is done by first downloading the desired app on your smartphone, then transferring it over to your Google TV. To do that, grab your phone, then search for the APK file of the app that you wanna download. In my case, I'm searching for Telegram APK. You can get most APK files from either APK Pure or Uptown APK. But for Telegram, you can download it from the official Telegram website. Once you have your APK file downloaded, go to your phone's Play Store. And yes, you will need an Android phone for this. But if you don't have an Android phone, no worries. Later on in this video, I'll show you how you can use your PC to transfer files to your TV. So from the Google Play Store, search for and download the Send Files to TV app. When it's finished downloading, launch it. You're gonna wanna make sure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your TV. Then tap Skip, press Done, then Allow, Allow all, allow again, turn on file access permissions, then go back. On your TV, go to the apps tab. Scroll down to the search box and search for send files to TV. Click on it and click install. After the installation is finished, open it. Click skip, done, allow, Allow again, scroll down to permissions, click files and media, click allow management of all files and allow. Now press back until you've gone back to the app. Tab down and select receive. Now go back to your phone, click send, go to the download folder and select the APK file you just downloaded. Your Google TV should get detected. If it didn't, ensure both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network and that Google TV has the Send Files TV app opened in receive mode. When you do see the Google TV device show up, go ahead and tap it. It should give you this message when the transfer is complete. Now on your TV, click on the newly transferred file, then Click open, click show settings, scroll down to send files to TV and allow it to install unknown apps. Then click back. Now click the telegram APK once again, click open and click install. Now the second way to sideload an app without the downloader app is by installing the CX file explorer app which gives you a little bit more versatility because it also works with transferring files from your PC to your Google TV. But for the first part of this example, I'll still be using my phone. So on your phone, download the CX File Explorer app, launch it, tap next, turn on allow access, tap allow, tap network, then tap access from network. Now tap start service. Now go over to your Google TV, go to the apps tab, scroll down to the search box, search for CX file explorer, click it and click install. After the installation is complete, click open, click next, next again, scroll down, click permissions, click files and media, then allow management of all files and allow from the CX file manager app, click network, then click access from network. Scroll up to your phone's name and click it. Type in the password that's displaying on your phone. Click device, download, click the APK file that you downloaded. Click settings, allow CX file manager to install unknown apps, then click install. If you have files on your computer that you want transferred over to your TV, then click the start service button 
on your CX file transfer app on the Google TV. Then on your computer, open File Explorer and in the address bar, type in FTP colon slash slash and the IP address that's displayed on your TV. Then enter the username and password when prompted. Once you're in, navigate to the download folder and drag and drop the APK file of your choice. Now, I kept using the Telegram app as an example, but if you want a step-by-step -step guide on the easiest way to install Telegram, then check this video out right here.